Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> so, quick story time. We came to Food and Lion, and I don't know if you know, like in the deli section, they have like a hot area so you can like self serve. Well, today they had like, um, oh, what would you say it was? Like honey chicken? Yeah. Like a chicken, you know, like an Asian inspired chicken. And it was really good. And they also had like the sweet and sour chicken, the, it's like the plain breaded fried chicken that you dip in the red sauce, but they didn't have the red sauce actually. But, anyways. We got a plate and um, we came to the car we're eating and I had one piece left. I know I had one piece left because I'm watching this like a hawk. Okay, I'm watching it. That's my food. I look back to go grab my last little chicken thingy and it's gone. And I'm like, did you eat my chicken thingy? I said, did you eat my last piece? And she said, no, like literally got mad. <laughs> well, I didn't eat it. That's why. She's like, no, that's all you had. And I said, no, I had one more left. And she pulls it from like a secret hiding spot. And that's the end of the story. She freaking tried to yeah, lie. Yeah, but I didn't eat it. I know, but I you, didn't eat it. Though. You were going to. So how was it a lie? I didn't eat it though. You it was, were going to eat it. Yes, it's yeah. this one. She was going to eat it. And with that being said, if you haven't done so, subscribe to my channel. And also hit that notification bell so you're notified when we upload a new video. And... You can join us mm. and our two Nisya dogs. Also, I cracked open my jack o' lantern Reese's. My hair's messed up already. Right. <sighs> Hello, everyone. Good morning. I am in my Halloween shirt today, and I'm wearing a little skirt. Um, I'm feeling the vibes today, the Halloween fall vibes. Okay. I always celebrate Halloween first and then once Halloween is over, go into Thanksgiving because then I have time to pull out some like aesthetic and like the pretty full stuff. Well, I don't always do that, but I that's what I'm gonna do this year. Um, I'm gonna make some breakfast. I am hungry. I have been um, eating a avocado basil with, avocado basil, avocado bagel with um, red onion and alfalfa sprouts but my alfalfa sprouts finally went bad so i'm gonna be eating just a plain avocado bagel today uh, i've been feeling those way more than avocado toast even though it might not be the best for me that's what i'm going to eat today um i'm gonna be doing i'm gonna finish these last two little minis i do have plain size bagels um but i need to finish these first so we are going to cut these little babies good thing i got them out because they're probably about to start going bad Hmm. Hold on. Best Buy 912. I swear I only bought these like a week ago. We're way past that. I should probably throw these home. Yeah, I probably should. Yeah, I'm gonna throw them. They smell weird. Okay, I got some bagels at Little the other day. We ate one yesterday, but I'm eating another one today. I don't know if I should eat the whole bagel or if I should eat one right now, save the other half for last. Like one half another. Okay. Brew. So you're just gonna go around a little bagel. Okay, cool. Pop her in the toaster. While that is toasting, we're gonna have a kombucha break. For those of y'all that watch my channel, this past video, y'all know that I started drinking kombucha. Yesterday I tried pomegranate, which I did not film. Um, it was also the Kavita, the one that I got the first time. I don't, was it Kavita? I don't even remember. But the brand that I got the first time, I tried the um, pomegranate one. So much better than the pink lady one, actually. Um, it just didn't have that much strong of a flavor than the other one. But I'm scared to try this one. This is a fall edition. I got this one from Little. And I believe it is, yeah, it's a little brand or Little. I don't know how you'll say it. I say Little, but I'm pretty sure it's Little. Anyways, it's organic kombucha by Little. Apple, cinnamon, vanilla, and clove. I love all those separately. Um, I mean, apple, cinnamon together sounds fire vanilla and clove sounds fire so i mean i don't know how it's gonna taste all together but we're gonna try it it's a sola vita organic kombucha brand i have a different one to taste tomorrow but 
this is gonna be my baby that i'm drinking today it's 16 ounces so i can drink the whole thing today um i did read online that you're only supposed to have like 16 ounces a day if that's true or not let me know i do also have some teas that i'm going to try not probably not today but well maybe later on cal got these from work from um one of her higher ups this one's a white vanilla grapefruit if y'all have tried this brand let me know i have tried the cinnamon one and i love that one i literally made her bring me another one because i was craving it it's super good and you don't have to add any sweetener or anything i add honey but it was like kind of sweet already on its own and this one's just an organic black tea but i'm gonna try these later let me know if you've heard of these brands uh this brand it's called harney and sons master tea blenders i'm gonna look them up online but let's give this a taste i'm gonna stop rambling i'm just scared to taste it honestly she's fizzing she's letting out some juices i mean some air the first time i ever tried this a long time ago i was driving and i don't know what i did i shook it or something i opened it and and you're really not supposed to shake these, so. Okay. Cheers. Let's get it. Oof. Oof. Smells weird. Smells weird. But now I'm smelling like the cinnamon is. Okay, let's just taste Not bad. Not fire, but it's good. kind of good it tastes like it doesn't taste sweet and like a an apple pie like i thought it was gonna taste like apple pie it does not taste like that it kind of tastes like i i can't explain it like a potato almost which is weird or like like beer <laughs> that's what it tastes like beer <laughs> almost tastes it tastes very earthy like very root -y. I I think I can finish it though so here's the gut health okay guys this is my bagel my wife called me right now but it is just avocado I thinly spread it um, I have half an avocado in between two bagels um I would probably use the whole one next time but that's what I had open I didn't want to open another avocado so um, I did put a little bit of kosher salt on there a little bit of garlic powder and a little bit of onion powder and then I just topped her with some red onions. She looks fire. And then now is when I would add um, alfalfa sprouts but I ran out. <laughs> Let me go buy some more. Let's do a quick taste test so I can call my wife back, okay? She's gonna munch. Cheers. I should add some tomatoes. This is good though. Fire. I forgot about tomatoes though. Mmm. I think I'm gonna add some tomatoes. This is good though. So I'm sitting here drinking um this. Remember I told y'all it reminded me of something? It reminds me of a freaking beet. A boiled beet. That's what it tastes like. Exactly. Like a boiled beet. Go eat a boiled beet and then drink this. That's what it tastes like. Alright, my dogs had water. Um, I don't know what the heck I'm wearing. This was just a church that, I mean a church, a shirt that I got from Goodwill. I just cut it on the side and I bleached it a little because I had stained it and I didn't bleach it enough. It kind of just turned orange. I wanted it to turn more like white, but it didn't. That's okay. Um, it is another day. I'm going to make another avocado basil, a basil. Why do I keep doing that? I said that yesterday too. Another avocado bagel that has been, hey, she knows how to open the baby gate, Harley, so she opens it. No, ma'am. Out. Out. Stay out. Mm, 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 mm. So we're going to make, make another um, avocado bagel. Probably with tomato today. With that being said, my bagel is in the toaster. I'm going to try another kombucha today. This one is also by the little brand. It's an organic kombucha ginger raspberry flavor. And yeah, it's the same. Um, I believe the same brand as the other one, but... Or made by the same place i don't know if it's the same brand but it looks amazing um i have been feeling a little bit under the weather um i had the worst allergies yesterday which reminds me i need to take some allergy medication um 
I just like, I haven't been feeling sick. It's just like I've been very, la well, last night and this morning. I was stuffy. I just kept like having a runny nose. Um, I had a little bit of a cough, but I'm pretty sure it was because I was just having bad allergies. I don't know if it's because the weather's changing, which I'm pretty sure. Usually that's kind of what happens, like when there's a little extra dust in the air or like wind and stuff. I usually get some allergies, but honestly, I took a hot shower and I feel so much better. I no longer feel stuffy, but I'm going to take some medicine in a little while and we'll see if that helps. It mainly is at night, so. Okay, we're going to go ahead and open her up. I have high hopes for this, you guys. I hope it's really good. All right, cheers to gut health. Oh yeah, good. I could taste the ginger a lot, a lot. Not so much the raspberry, but a little bit. Mmm. It tastes kind of like the Moscow meals I got drunk on the other day. Surprisingly, I can drink this. Oh, I got horribly drunk on Moscow meals. It wasn't even the other day, it was a long time ago, but I have not had alcohol since then. <laughs> Let's just say that. But yeah, it's really good. Very refreshing. 10 out of 10 recommend this one. And that is my bagel today. It doesn't look super aesthetic because I cut all this crap on my thing because I'm literally that lazy. But here she goes. Let's do a taste test. Taste test part one. Cheers. good when you think about it it's just guacamole on a bagel <laughs> i hate myself good though found her a stick she indeed was pulling me towards the dog park, but I had to redirect her. I had to say, no girl, we're not going. I have soup on the freaking stove, so. That's why she couldn't go to the park. Welcome back everyone to another bagel making video. I'm making another bagel because what's new? Um, the only ever, other time I've updated you in this vlog was when I was making bagels. So I feel like it's only fit to update you now that I'm making another bagel. Um, I just put on some makeup so I could take some pictures on Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, go follow me. This picture should be up already and go give this video. I mean this picture a thumbs up and or a like and comment a little pumpkin or a coffee down below my shirt is super cute i got this shirt from um crazy cool threads i believe is what it's called um it is a christian um brand and they have a bunch of cute little shirts like this this is their shirt of the week a couple weeks ago i will say it did take a while to to get here because i ordered this a minute ago but it was only like ten dollars um and then i uh I had a coupon code because I signed up for the email alerts. I believe it was $13. And then I signed up for their email alerts and it only came out to like $10. And then shipping and stuff, I paid like $13 for it. Cutest shirt ever. I just have it paired with a skirt and I wore some little sneakers. So I thought that was the cutest outfit ever. I'm super comfy. It's not tight at all. I did get an extra large because this is chunky, okay? But fit great. Just gonna be, be putting um, flaky salt, garlic powder, and onion powder today. No um, onion because one, I don't feel like cutting it. Two, I don't feel like having smelly breath today. I just don't feel like it. Usually now I would try a kombucha, but I haven't bought another one. My wife's at work. She takes the car, so I have no way to get around while I'm off and at home. Salt is on. 
one of these. I believe this one is the onion powder. I did not check the label, but oh yeah, it was. I put a little bit of each. You know the drill. You know the drill by now. This is like my third or fourth day making some bagels. Also, if you are wondering where I got this skirt, I don't know if you can see. It has like a slit, super cute. I got this from Shein, um, the Curve, Shein Curve. It was on sale for like $9, super cute, but cheers. Mm. Fire, but okay. I'll let y'all know if I do anything today. I really, I've just been here the past couple days. I've been off, so I've just been doing the same thing. My wife comes home, we watch Scandal. That's it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, really not an interesting week today. This is an actual week, and I love it, honestly. I don't mind being home and mind being off. I did apply for a Target. Hopefully I get the job, but I don't know, guys. Starbucks, I'm just not feeling it anymore. It's just too much work. And that's because I only work a couple days a week, and I just feel like sometimes it's not worth it. Some days it's so chill. Really nothing to do but, like, stop clean, you know? But some days it's just, like, way too much. Uh-uh. I miss having my freaking nails done. I look like a boy 24-7 because I can't get my nails done. I can't even wear my ring. I have to wear this silicone ring. So it's like, I don't like to feel ugly when I'm at work, you know? I want to feel pretty. So if I can get a job where I can have my nails done, wear my freaking rings, and make good pay, best believe I'm going to go for that. So y'all pray for me, okay? okay. What's up, everyone? I woke up i scrambled i got to work using a little of my double chin i just wanted to chit chat with you really quick um i currently i'm on my way to work but i did put my two weeks in yesterday for those of y'all that know i work at starbucks i put my two weeks in yesterday not because some crazy thing happened just because i just wasn't happy there anymore i i now that I did put my two weeks in, I'm kind of like have a little bit of regret. Um, I think it's just because like I love my coworkers. They're all so cool. And, um, you know, our customers were a very regular base. So I'm going to miss them too. Um, I did apply at Target and I got in at Target, which is $15 an hour. This is the main reason why I just wasn't so happy because the pay at Starbucks is not it. Okay. We did get a raise to $12 an hour, but I mean, when it's busy and stuff like that we bust ass you know like we literally are there non-stop making hundreds of drinks literally and having to also push out mobile orders um uber eats like there's plenty of things that we have to do besides make people's drink that go in so it's just like on days where it's super busy it's just not worth it and the sucky thing is because on days that it's not busy it's like dang this is the easiest job in the world you know all we do is clean make a coffee here and there that's that so i did apply to work at uh in the beauty section at target i got an interview and everything and then they offered me a freaking job at freaking starbucks and i'm just like oh she's like you can cross train and stuff so i'm like okay i mean i guess it won't be bad 15 dollars an hour at target and it's literally right down the road it's like not out of my way at all so um i don't know i'm gonna try it out see what's up and then maybe transfer like the beauty section if not i did put my two weeks at starbucks um hopefully they'll let me back in later on if i decide i want to go back so we'll see as of right now i just wasn't happy and content with the way things were going in my life and i decided i had to make a little bit of a change so i did that we'll see if i regret it i feel like it's the right choice but like i said i am having regrets but i am a hella overthinker you guys i overthink as much as i possibly can i will think about it all day all night come up with a decision be happy with my decision and then still be thinking about it every once in a while here and there so that's kind of like in the stage i am now i kind of already accepted it i'm happy with it and now i'm just like mm, should i have done that i don't know we'll see it's just because when you have a good set of co-workers it's like life's great you know because you go to any place and it's like your co-workers can be awesome they can all suck like you know my management right now is good i just wasn't content with life anymore i knew that i guess it just kind of sucks when you know other places are getting paid more and you're busting your ass you know and so that's why like a lot of people i work with now will probably be like well you probably you like you hardly work like work more make more hours but it's just like that's not even the case 
when you're get, getting paid ten dollars an hour busting your ass there's other people getting paid fifteen dollars an hour and whether they're still busting their ass like five dollars is a big difference you know so we'll see it sucks that everything runs on money here but we gotta survive guys we gotta survive so i'll check in i probably had a booger this whole time because i feel like i feel it it's okay let's name him todd his name's todd so um i will see y'all later Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday, October 3rd. If you know the meme, there's the meme. Anyways, we woke up today and we were gonna go get brunch, but we decided not to, I'm guessing, as of right now. And um, my wife's like, let's go get Chick-fil-A. And I'm like, yeah, it's Sunday, they're closed. But yeah, we're gonna clean up the apartment. We haven't been home in like, what, three days? Like we've been home, but it's just like here to do whatever we need and back out the door, so. I'm gonna clean today, get ready for Monday because tomorrow is already Monday. The weeks are flying by and the days are all mishing together. So yeah, that's the update for today. Um, I believe this is going to be the end of the video. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. I need to go brush my teeth. I haven't even done that yet. Oh. And give this video a thumbs up and I will see y'all all in the next one. Bye.